Hey everybody. I wanted to do this little tutorial to introduce this next effect that I'm releasing. Just tell you about it later when I get to it. It's a real easy little thing that you can do and it harkens back to travel mats and things like that. So what I want to do is I want to just keep this as simple as possible. I'm going to go ahead and just work with a title. So I'll go with Control T and add a basic title. Uh, these two little effects you see on the screen here, they will be coming out soon too. It's matching speedometer and tachometers. So I've got a basic title here and I'll go in to the text and I'll just ramp it up. I'm going to make a nice big title out of this. And just do this, find a nice font. I want something a little antique looking, so I'm going to head on down here. And, well, this one will work. Okay. Pull in the tracking a little bit. And, I'm just going to leave the typeface white. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to tighten this up a little bit better. There we go. Okay, fine. I'm going to go into the generators. I'm going to go down to textures. Here. And let's go with stone. I'm just going to drag this up under here. Now in the stone generator, I don't know if you've worked with this at all before, but you have several different kinds of textures that go with this. So you can use this to kind of grunge up your typeface a little bit. Okay, and you have a tint color and a tint amount. So let's antique this up. Now I'm going to go back to the title and I'm going to create a mat out of it. So in the video tab, under compositing, under blend mode, I'm going to go down here to stencil alpha. And now I have a nice little title that's filled with this stone. Now it can be anything. You can have video, Photoshop image, whatever you want. Any kind of media that you want can be uh, the fill material for this particular effect. Now the problem with Stencil Alpha and Stencil Luma and these matte effects, see if you do Silhouette, uh, basically, Silhouette Alpha is going to punch a hole in the image and Silhouette Luma will use the grayscale information, whatever you are using, to create a, an alpha channel. So, if I were to go back to, you know, the text and change the face color to uh, a gray, a light gray, then you see that it's semi-transparent. But for right now, I just want to use the stencil alpha for this. And you're probably wondering, what the hell good is it if it's going to punch a hole through everything that's underneath it? Well, what you do is you select the title, or you select your top image that has the matte blending applied to it. Hold down the command key and select whatever the layer is, whatever the media is that you're using to fill this mat with and type option G and make a compound clip. Now you have a nice little title for your storyline. You can go in, double click on the compound clip and you can go in and make changes 
to either one of these. You can add more media if you want. You can do whatever you want inside the compound clip. Say for instance for the text I wanted to do something with the drop shadow. I wanted to show you this because there's a particular kind of effect that you get with this. Notice that the drop shadow continues the alpha channel which really doesn't suit well for this kind of thing. However, if you turn up the blur, a good bit, and dial down the opacity a little bit, now we have an extruded effect. Now, I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't used motion. I haven't done anything. This is all right in Final Cut. Very simple to do. Nice extruded effect. And what does this look like? Well, it doesn't look like much on here. So let's play with this a little bit more. Now the effect that I'm releasing with this little tutorial is called Drop Shadow. It's just a utility thing I did for myself. And I'm just going to drag it onto the compound clip. I can run up the opacity turn down the blur and now I've given some detail to this effect okay it makes the extrude a little bit more convincing So I do the distance. I'm matching the angle of the drop shadow that we used for the text itself. And there we go. Let's match the color a little better. Okay, well, there you go. I'm going to go back into the compound clip, back to the title, and just take off the drop shadow that we used. I can do that by just clicking on this little blue dot. Head on back into the project here. And now I have just this drop shadow effect so that you can get more separation from the background video. And I'll just go back to using black. 100%, a little bit of blur, and there you go. Now the other things that are in this little drop shadow tool that I should mention is that you can scale the clip, you can apply a border around the clip. Basically drop shadow treats whatever is it's applied to as a regular video frame. you can use this as a if you are doing like an inset video and you need a drop shadow to separate it from the background the inset video is going to be scaled down and this will let you add a drop shadow to the background you can fill the content with an opaque color however you notice that the drop shadow applies to the whatever has alpha in this layer. So we just knock out the fill, then the text has a drop shadow, the border has a drop shadow, creates a very nice effect. It's a simple little tool. You should just go into a utility box uh, in your effects. You can download it from the link below. Stay tuned for more. I've got a backlog. I've just been busy doing some other stuff. and I'm sorry that I'm having trouble getting this stuff out in a timely manner. I'm trying to catch up. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.